Have you seen Jurassic Park? Ron DeSantis is like a raptor at the fence. He's checking the weaknesses. He's testing how far he can push things towards fascism before he gets pushed back, or if he can just destroy the fence and knock it down. He's already signed anti-protest laws, anti-mob laws, crackdowns on free speech, stand your ground laws, the hit protesters with your car law, the be arrested and held without bail if you're considered for any reason to be a violent protester law. He's massively limited voter access, cut funding to shooting victims, signed multiple anti-trans legislations, banned critical race theory, and made it illegal for any school board member to promote the teaching of racism in school. And now he's rolling out a mandatory survey for everyone in colleges and universities to report their political views to the state. He claims it's to ensure that places of higher learning aren't becoming socialist factories, but no one said how the information is going to be used or offered any protections against partisan targeting or any confidentiality in general. It's crazy. I mean, even for the Republican Party, whose strategy has always been to create some problem, then rush in and solve that problem, and fix it with legislation that no one needed but they really wanted, this is a real stretch. DeSantis claims this law is solving an intellectual or viewpoint diversity problem, where conservative or right-wing students and faculty are being silenced by the liberal agenda, and it's a pressing issue that needs addressing. But we already have First Amendment rights to protect free speech. It's in the Constitution. We don't need Ron to create an extra level of protection for Republicans, unless this list of people's affiliations this isn't really about viewpoint diversity at all, but putting people on lists, which we all know has turned out so well in the past. The Republicans are clearly more than just a little authoritarian curious. This is like 1984 type stuff. And DeSantis is terrifying because unlike their current king, he's not inept. He's disciplined and intelligent, but just as calculating and self-serving. I mean, we flirted with autocracy with Trump, but like most of Trump's flirtations, he couldn't seal the deal. DeSantis has way more game. Look no farther than his recent praising of Biden when he visited the devastation in Surfside. This wasn't respect or independent thinking. This was calculated behavior. This is a leader understanding that his state's choices to have no personal income tax, as well as favoring low corporate tax rates, left him completely unable to pay for this disaster. He has no money, and he needed the federal government to pick up the tab. So he said whatever he needed to say to get what he wanted. He even mentioned the timeline for getting the money twice in his thank you speech. It's 30 days, by the way. He wants the money in 30 days. Ron DeSantis understands politics in a way Donald Trump could never. He understands it's not about him personally, it's about his power. And he will try and take full control of the state and its people, and then take that nationally if he can. As his shadow presidential slogan says, make America Florida. And if that's not horrifying, I don't know what is. Raptor at the fence, man. Raptor at the fence.